Um, Harvey is actually, I have to explain a little bit. Uh, at the beginning of the book, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald's corpse, Oswald's corpse was dug up. Uh, and the only thing left on his name bracelet was Arvey, A-R-V-E-Y. And so he, a cult came to organize around this dead body, which they were bringing back to life gradually. And so that's who Arvey is. And this list, typing crystal for watch, is actually the list that Lee Harvey Oswald made out uh, whenever he moved to a new town. Just before he killed Kennedy, he went to uh, Dallas and made up this list. He was a very organized fellow. Uh, the women went into the refectory to have a closer look. There was some thought that a woman would increase the chances of burying a, a male newt picking a breeder with a well-formed flocculus. Punctuated, persuaded, I'm sorry, by Vink's lilac scent and his pleasant-looking flocculus, she said, Guess it's you. Good choice, Link said. Laissez les bon temps rouler. He did an awkward little jig. He took Ophelia's arms and ascended the stairs. Did you know, ma'am, that warfare in any society is the result of the interaction of protein supply and population density? That's why a diet of fungu and mulse supplemented with locusts and such keeps us breeder newts peaceable and happy. We can be a friend to your people. We can serve you your needs in many ways. I'm the first to admit we lack sensibility, but we do have a modicum of pride and a keen sense of smell. Talk on, Ophelia said. I, I love it. There was a time, you know, after, after my trial for sedition, when I learned to be idle. I wandered around from house to house asking for crusts and clabber at back windows. I tattled and became a busybody speaking things I oughtn't. Arrested, I was publicly spanked. Then, in short order, there I was hanging, haunting the alleyways again selling hair to innocent children, spreading gossip like butter. Again arrested, my feet were clubbed with bowling pins, and I was set free, barefoot, to roam the icy streets. I fell asleep on a gutter's edge. By morning, my feet were frozen and had returned to a sickening blue. Even now, they are numb, as pale and cold as marble. Please don't stop. More. Uh, back in 08, I published a pamphlet treating my revolutions having to do with the mysterious kinetics of metamorphic rock. I spoke of my observations while living in a cardboard and carpet scrap shack on the open plain west of Bombay. Uh, the stones were moving, some due north, some south, some indifferently. Nice and schist were the worst offenders. Apparently, these notions were not taken well among the settlers, who plugged my stovepipe with oily rags. When I started a fire in the potbelly, one cool morning, the draft reversed and a burning jayhawk flew out the door. More, please. In a moment, let's go to the mating room. After briskly climbing the old stairs. They entered a room furnished with a hair-stuffed pallet on the floor, a rack for hanging clothes, and a small table with wash bowl and towel. Vink faced the wall, and Ophelia began undressing. I wish they hadn't taken away my Vink thinker. Uh, Vink thinker is a thinking hat. That she used to have one, but it kind of got old, and they had to bury it in the garden. But it's a hat that helps you think better. And she doesn't have it anymore. Uh, it so enhanced every sensation. She lay on the pallet trying to relax. Talk to me to get my egg bag to open. <laughs> yes, ma'am. 
The simple two-lobed Nutridine liver produces a flammable oil in sufficient quantities to make our urine, once denatured, a practicable fuel for lamps and cooking. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> After the first forgetting, we gathered outside windows and watched settler families at supper, carefully observing table manners and eating habits. We tipped imaginary cups to our rough, chitinous lips, then applied imaginary napkins. We wanted to know. She pulled him down on top of her. Don't stop. 